Hello, I'm Rachel and you're watching Calkine TV live from Sydney. This is the Stocks in Action show. In today's show, we'll take a look at the latest updates from vehicle and automobile parts retailer Eagers Automotive. Their shares are currently down today after the company reported its first half 2021 results. The company delivered an underlying operating profit before tax of $218.6 million. That's compared to $40.3 million the previous corresponding period. The company's statutory net profit after tax for the first half of 2021 was $202.3 million compared to $11.8 million in the previous corresponding period. These included a sale of assets totaling $41.1 million, offset by non-cash impairments of $5.2 million on re-evaluation of a property. The board approved payments of an ordinary interim dividend of $0.20 cents per share fully franked for the first half of financial year 2021. Next, we're taking a look at Inca, a resource explorer. Their shares are trading down currently as the company has found significant copper mineralization at Macaulay Creek. It's discovered large outcrops with visible copper mineralization during recent mapping at multiple locations there. As a result, Inca has confirmed existing prospects and new prospects found in the northern and central areas of the project. Meanwhile, at Mount Brown Prospect and Wallaroo Prospect, Inca found visible scarn style, that's a kind of waste type rock of copper mineralization, Gusanus limestone and Gusanus porphyry. Also in Caraway North Prospect or Copper Cliffs, Inca's discovered a visible copper mineralization among other positive results. The company has evaluated project potentials to host new mineralization discoveries of visible copper. In addition, it's reinforced the opportunity to make a tier one scale copper discovery at Macaulay Creek. Next, we're going to talk about digital lottery firm Jumbo. Their shares are currently trading down. The company released their results today showing they signed a deal to acquire 100% of Canadian lottery management provider called Stride Management. That's for a cash consideration of $11.7 million. Jumbo has been looking to expand globally and the Stride acquisition is just another step in this strategy. The Calgary-based company caters to more than 750,000 active lottery players in the Alberta and Saskatchewan provinces. Stride is likely to generate around $122 million in total transaction value. Back in 2019, Jumbo also bought UK-based lottery provider Gatherwell. Now it's time for a very short break, but stay tuned. I'll be back with more trending updates in the Australian market. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV. Welcome back. This is Rachel, your host live from Calkine Studios, and you're watching the Stocks in Action show. Next news, we're looking at Zuvo, an Australian resource explorer. Their shares are trading up today as the company received 99.992% purity from its first high purity alumina test program work. The test was done by the Beijing General Research Institute of Mining and Metallurgy in China. Samples produced were from white cloud ore. Additional test works now to be conducted for achieving five nines purity, high purity alumina, higher grade feedstock that is more than 38% and low impurities offer significant advantages for the production of high purity alumina. Current estimates of global pricing for high purity alumina ranges from between 15,000 US dollars to 30,000 US dollars per ton for four nines and 40,000 US dollars to 50,000 US dollars per ton for five nine products. Suvo plans to capitalize on these outstanding results as time progresses. Last news we're going to look at is Silk Logistics. The shares of this technology-driven transportation giant are currently trading down today. 
That's after the company shared that it's full year results for the 52-week period ending 27th of June. This is the company's first full year financial results release as it got listed on the 9th of July on the ASX. The company posted a revenue of $323.3 million, an increase of 28.6% or $71.8 million as compared to last year's corresponding period. The statutory net profit after tax stood at $8.4 million, an increase of $12.7 million versus the last corresponding period. Silk Logistics will go on to spend in its technology platform and will target new national blue chip customers to take its market share higher. Now before we do wrap up, let's quickly glimpse through developments across equity and commodity markets today. The S&P SX200 is lower today, 0.3%. That's despite crossing above its 20-day moving average. Shares in Appen are down 18.31%, while the A2 Milk Company shares are down 10.29%. Nine out of 11 sectors are lower today, along with the S&P SX200 index. Consumer discretionary is the best performing sector so far today, while utilities is currently today's worst performing sector. Okay, that's all from me. Stay tuned with Calkine TV for more live market updates. We'll be back with more news on the markets, the economy, diverse themes and sectors. I'm Rachel signing off for now.